everyone, this is Rich, and this is going to be a short tutorial on how to use RSS feeds. RSS means really simple syndication. A lot of websites use this, including PCMech.com and PCMech TV, as well as several other of Dave's sites. Now, if you're on PCMech TV, you may notice under the big subscribe banner here, we've got two feeds with this big orange symbol next to it got a podcast feed and a video feed. This symbol is actually in the Firefox web browser up here and I believe you'll see this Internet Explorer 7 as well. I'm going to show you how to use these feeds using a standalone client calling, excuse me, a standalone client called RSS Bandit and by using a web-based reader, Google Reader. Okay, the first one we're going to look at is RSS Bandit. This is at the RSS Bandit website, which is www.rssbandit.org. This is a freeware application meant specifically to read feeds. You can get it by clicking on the download link where my mouse is located right now. I suggest hitting the direct download link to the most recent version, which is the uh, link right here. When the SourceForge page loads up, we can scroll down a little bit. And here it is right here, the installer, which is in a zip file. We click that. And then it actually prompts me to download it. Once you're done, excuse me, once you're done downloading it, you can extract it from the zip file and then install it afterwards. And next, I'm going to show you what it looks like when you're inside the application. Okay, we're inside the application here. On the left, these are feeds, and on the right, these are the articles that are in that feed. I have buzz screen here as an example, and here's an article that I wrote. And if I click it, it'll actually show the article inside the feed. Pretty cool if you ask me. What this means by using feeds is that you can read the content on a blog without actually going to the website just by using the bandit which is actually kinda nice now if we want to add a feed here it's a little involved but not that involved and I'll show you what I mean by that Let me bring up the web browser here I'm going to go to the PCMech TV.com website now you'll notice that right at the top here in the Firefox browser we have a little link for a feed. If I actually click that, Firefox 2 will actually ask me if I want to subscribe to the feed or not, and it gives me a choice of what I want to use to subscribe to it with. I can use the Bandit, I can use, and there's a couple other ones, my, my Yahoo and Google Reader, and I'll cover the Reader in a second. If I want to use the Bandit, I just leave it as is, and I hit subscribe now the bandit will come up and bring up the add subscription wizard I just hit next next finds the feed titles it for me you can choose what category to put in I put it in a category I made called blogs I read next if there's a username and a password which 99 percent of blogs don't have uh, you can basically just leave this blank but if it did have one you could put it here and then next you can leave this information as is and hit next. You could use a custom formatter if you want. You don't have to. Next. And then it's complete. Finish. Over here, it'll appear in the list. And I click it. And it will show me a summary of all the feeds here. But if I click one of them, like this one, it'll actually show the content of the feed. Okay, let's say we wanted to manually add a feed by not using the web browser. Say if you're using Internet Explorer 6 or something like that and you need to get a feed in here somehow. I'll show you how to do that. If I launch a Internet Explorer web browser and I go to PCMechTV.com basically looks the same as it does in Firefox. But what we have to do is I go down to the uh, subscribe where we went before each one of these contains a link what I can do is uh, let's just say I wanted to subscribe to the podcast feed 
what I do is I right click that and I left click copy shortcut now this is officially in the clipboard I go to the bandit and then I click on new and then feed subscription it brings up the same subscription we saw the wizard we saw before we click next and then I just right click in here and paste and then I follow the same procedure that I did before and it will add the feed appropriately okay next up I'm gonna show you how to subscribe to feeds using the Google Reader okay here we go using the Google Reader I'm gonna launch a web browser first and I'll say before continuing you do need to have a Gmail account in order to use this so if you have one then you're all set if you're not well you're gonna to have to acquire one I will go to google.com slash reader welcome to Google Reader we log in with our Gmail account adding subscriptions is pretty easy uh, it essentially is added the same way that RSS Bandit does it. Now, let's just say I wasn't logged into the Google Reader and I'm using Firefox. I go to the PC Mac website. I do the same thing I did before. If I'm using Firefox, I click the subscribe link. And instead of using the Bandit, I'll use Google Reader. And I'll hit subscribe now. Now it's going to ask me whether I want it to add to my Google home page or the reader. I want it in the reader, so I click this link. It asks me to log in. So I go ahead. It loads it up, and there it is. Now let's just say we're not using Firefox. First of all, I'm going to click Manage Subscriptions down here so I can get rid of the feed first. I check it off and click on Subscribe and say OK. It's unsubscribed. Then I'm going to sign out. I'm going to close Firefox and I'm going to go into Internet Explorer instead. Same as before. PCMechTV.com I have to do the same thing that I essentially did with the, uh, the Bandit, which is I have to right-click one of these feeds here and left-click Copy Shortcut and then go to Google.com slash Reader it loads up. I log in. And then I have to add a subscription manually by clicking Add Subscription on the left. It asks me to paste a URL. I've already copied the shortcut. So I right click and left click Paste and then click Add. and there it is it's in the list you'll notice that this has a little bit of an advantage over the bandit because it comes with the uh, this is the podcast feed it actually shows a player so if I hit play it actually brings up the podcast afterwards and that's pretty nice I do like that a lot if you're using the Bandit, then it um, usually what it will do is launch your default MP3 player, whether that's Windows Media Player or whether it's Winamp or whatever it is that you use. And uh, that is essentially it.